Hey guys, MD Prepper here. Another video on water prepping. This time on the Sawyer SP121 inline water filter. Great pickup. Uh, let me go ahead and say they've got some higher quality stuff in my opinion out these days that I just haven't picked up yet. But overall, for a prepping kit, any kind of long-term survival bug in in particular, or even bug out, this is a great option. You gotta have something along these lines. Yes, we've got our bleach. Yes, we've got boiling and all the other options you have for purifying water. You need a filtration method. And I don't mean one of those cheap, junky, overly expensive Brita filters and all that junk. Uh, don't go there, okay? Does it produce decent water? Yeah, but there's a lot better options out there. And we're going to keep talking about water options here. But enough of me ranting. Uh, Sawyer, um, like Tom Sawyer. Uh, has got great water filters. Wonderful stuff. They've got a water filter bottle that's one of my favorites. I'll do a separate view on that at some point, but this is tremendous for the value overall. Uh, the SP121 filter 0.1 microns, which is basically all bacteria, protozoa, cysts, all of that junk and particulate it's going to take out. Now this will not take out viruses. Let me go ahead and say that. Now here in North America, most of our water viruses is not an issue. Okay. Now, if I'm overseas somewhere in some third world country, or even here, would I want to take the viruses out? Yeah, okay, that's fine. If you want to do that, you're going to need to use some bleach in the water. I would say use bleach after you filter this, not before. You could do it before, but wait until all the particulate and the junk is filtered out until you're good to go. You have good, pure, clean water, maybe with a virus. If you do, treat it after the fact, just depending on your water source. Uh, these things are tremendous. Wonderful value. You say, well, what do I do with this thing? It's an inline filter. I don't have anything that's attached to it. Yeah, you do. Uh, you can make this thing work. Uh, might, may take a little bit of thought, but uh, we'll talk about it here in a second with the extra gear this thing comes with. Uh, 0.1 microns. This thing will filter for bacteria log 99.99999. That's five nines after the decimal point. Percent of bacteria. It's log 6 for protozoa, which is 99.9999. So four nines after the decimal point of your uh, protozoa. So it, it's going to do the job getting Giardia and all your bacteria out of your water. Anything else bigger than that, it's not going to get through. Again, viruses will with the 0.1 micron. The thing about this filter, the best point I have to offer about why you want one of these is the amazing capacity this thing has. One million gallons. Let me say that again. One million gallons of water you can be filtered through this safely. A million. That's far longer than your life, your grandchildren's life, etc. Um, a million gallons of water. A gallon per person per day, 365 days in a year, times 75 years of life. Do the math. This is going to keep running. So, wonderful. You may need to back flush it from time to time just to get particulate and stuff out of it, but it's going to do the job. Um, a million gallons. Uh, it's going to be kind of slow, you know, to put out a ridiculous amount of water for a large army of people, but we'll do it, okay? Just keep the water flowing, you're going to be good to go. Um, let's see. Um, 1.8 ounces for this. Just this. Now, not the accessories. No. 1.8 ounces. This weighs nothing. Uh, I've got a few of these. This is just great. Uh, it has a flow direction. You need to put it in one direction. Uh, I call it small to large, you know, little to big, however you want to do it. The flow right here is marked on the side. Don't know if you can see that right there. Flow and a big arrow point in that direction. So basically you need your tube with your dirty water on this end and the clean water is going to come out this side. So you attach a bucket right from the filter, you know, right, right from your faucet. We'll show you that in a minute. Just all sorts of stuff. Uh, and also there's equipment to attach to your water bladders and all sorts of other options. So this thing is tremendous. A million gallons. Um, if it gets dirty, if it gets lots of particulate and junk in here, and of course you need to pre-filter the water, is going to be best. So obviously run it through a bandana, some kind of cloth, a towel, anything like that. Put a towel on the top of a five-gallon bucket and then pour the muddy water on top of that slowly. Catch the mud and all the gunk so you don't clog this thing up. Clogging it up is not going to stop it from filtering. It's just going to slow down the rate. So again, if you want quick water flow, you need to keep this thing filtered uh, clean. As listen. You know, no major particulate coming in on this end, the dirty end. Uh, if you do happen to get that, and you may, and you probably will, you have to back flush it. Once you've got clean water, a clean water source boiled or filtered or bottled or whatever you've got, you need to force water back through the good end 
the clean end, not the dirty end, and flush out all the gunk that's clogging this thing up. But anyway, very small, very compact, very, very reasonable price. I paid about $40 for it. I can't remember exactly, but it was somewhere in the $40 range. $40 to $42, something like that, not including shipping. Um, again, these things come with the million-gallon guarantee, which is hard to pass up. Uh, kind of a big box for the small container, but it comes with some other stuff. So let's, let's go ahead and show you some of that. little user guide. Don't freeze it. Don't do this, that, and the other. How to store it long-term. Uh, stats on water purification, all sorts of stuff. So useful stuff there. Um, but the rest of the gear, let's just go ahead and dump it all out here. Uh, that's everything in the pack. You got this little contraption, a uh, little mini beer bong, something like that, or a beer filter rather. Um, it's not. This is for putting over your faucet. This will rubberized end will fit over your faucet and you can pour water out of your faucet if you've got uh, boil, water boil conditions and all that. You hook it up. I'm not going to hook it up, but you hook it in, and you put this over the faucet, and you just pour water through it. Clean water will come out the end. You put it into your containers. You're good to go. Uh, got some little pieces of tubing and all that to use for uh, your uh, filter bags and your uh, camelbacks and all that. Got a little adapter here for attaching two ends of tubing together, and you got some uh, little clasps there, two of those to... Uh, hold things together securely so you don't have any excess leakage around the edges and all of that. A million gallons for 40 bucks. You gotta have one of these. Um, $40, million gallons. Good to go. Uh, this one I have never used and don't intend to unless I absolutely have to. Good stuff. You know, keep one of these, you know, with your tubing and all that around and a bottle of bleach. You're good to go as long as you can find a water source. Uh, maybe a towel and five gallon bucket. Uh, that'd probably be the best option. But uh, great stuff. Love this stuff. Sawyer makes good products. I've used their filters out of their uh, smaller water filter bottles that I'll do a review of here after a while. I think that's the SP140, I think. Uh, great stuff. Good, clean drinking water. Very easy to slip through the straw. Um, again, this is going to be gravity filter. Going to work just fine. They do make some newer options that are 0.2 microns that actually cover viruses as well. I do not have one of those yet. I apologize. I should. Just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, they got two versions, the SP-194 and the SP-190. I think one of those comes in a kind of a water bladder bag type setting. The other one's a bucket style setup. I don't know. Don't have those yet. Gonna have to get one. But again, million gallon guarantee. Um, good stuff. Now, could it break? Could it smash? Could it fall apart before a million gallons? Oh, of course it could. But uh, that's way longer lifespan than I ever expect from any kind of water filter. Even my... Uh, Berkey Black filters. Love my Berkeys. Use that all the time. But uh, million gallons for the Sawyers. Uh, you can get them at REI and a lot of your outdoor stores, all that. Varying prices. Look around. This is the 0 0.1 micron. I don't know if they still make this one. Either way, for 40 bucks, this is cheap insurance for water purification, especially if you've got rain barrels, rain catches outside your house like I do. I got a 55 gallon drum out there. That's over, well over two months of water for me. If, if it doesn't rain again for two months, I'm good to go without pulling anything out of a stream or out of my uh, bottom storage, uh, those stuff inside the house. I'm good to go. Pour it through that. If I want to, I can add some bleach, let it sit. We're golden. So, anyway, the Sawyer inline water filters for the low, low price of 40 bucks. Again, don't know the price of the 0.2 micron, but man, this thing's nice. Indy Prepper, out.